So mm. coming back to how I felt about the story, um, that is I, a hell of a segue. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> so the 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 main story uh, itself, the like, it's not bad, but it's not not really that interesting. Like the oh, I'm dying. I need to do some mission to save myself. Like whatever. But the the character interaction, like with Johnny, with Pan Am, with Judy, and with Rogue, like are the best. So like easily the best thing uh, inside the game. It's bizarre because it feels like it's the only ex aspect that uh, they brought brought from Witcher, like the quality of the the character stories. Basically that, but yeah. The only I think, I'm sorry, go ahead. Because being quite honest, if the if the characters were well, I wouldn't say bad, but if they were mediocre or whatever, I would have given up on the game because the the rest of the game, like I've I've said earlier, doesn't really feel satisfying. I think I really like certain characters. I really liked I mean I mean I like Jackie. Um I, I like uh, Keanu Reeves, good boy. Uh, but he's not as, a as good an, boy, as, though. He's as an, very, very rude. <laughs> as an actor, his acting abilities are a bit narrow, but it suits here, so um, not really a detriment there, one I guess. His, actually, one of his best roles. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just like the surrounding... That's worth saying about his roles, but anyway. Yeah. Um, I just like the entire surrounding package. Like, even if I did... Um, like the characters in those interactions, um, like my interest was just too low by that point to like really have that be like the standout thing that brings me back in. Like to be fair to to Johnny and Keanu to a degree, I don't really think that the character Johnny, with the way he's written, would have worked without Keanu Reeves, like. He is such an asshole uh, at the beginning of the game, but because Keanu is so charismatic, you don't really care. Well, if it was any other I actor aside from Keanu Reeves, would you have liked him as much? Nope. No. What, what if they cast David Hayter and then, like, when the game came out, turned out as Kiefer Sutherland? <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I will say about how that characterization is, because there is a there is a point, actually pretty early on, where he goes from being an asshole to like, you know what, we can help one another, and it's such a fucking turn where I'm just like, you just punched me out of my wheelchair and called me a bitch ass pussy, and now you're, you're like, you know what, kid, let's help one another, and I'm like, <laughs> like that's a pretty far cry. From punching me out of my wheelchair. There's I, a mission where, um, what was it? You're you have to go. You're trying to find Evelyn at a place where, what was it? It's, it was at a sex house or something like that. And uh, they're saying like, oh, well, there's two people here that are that have like open rooms. And Johnny looks at you, says like, huh, he can only get two people to open their legs for you, loser. I'm just like, like oh, Keanu Reeves, please. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> It's so fucking gratuitously against sex workers, and the game doesn't really talk about it. I know it's, it's feel, it felt really gratuitous. I don't know why. No. It's the there. one thing I will bring up about what Mesa brought up earlier about like broken promises was when when they were talking about the character customization for this game a while ago. They had brought up the idea that one of the customization options was your character had three role role models to pick from. And one of them was Johnny. And that would have opened up other di di dialogue options. And I, so I'm just going to be fully uh, transparent again. I have a Cyberpunk 2020 character. Like I have a character sheet that has a character on it. And my character was a rocker boy class, which is basically you're just a wannabe rock star. And if if they had kept that option to pick one of your role, role models, have one of your role, role models be Johnny, I would have, I would have, died to see the reaction that your character would have would have had to him because they even said oh if you pick this option you'll have different dialogue options and i'm like imagine if we had had that you could have picked johnny as your role, role model and have the different dialogue options when he's punching you out of your wheelchair and calling call, calling you a bitch like uh, so i wish they would have done that like i wish they would have done that 
slightly building off of that based on what um like lifestyle you chose at the beginning you get you can sh- you have like specific like corpo or street kid or a nomad uh dialogue options does that actually bring anything substantial or is that just more flavor text because it hasn't necessarily a, a just uh, flavor. i've actually had a few quests where i was able to skip combat by using street kid di- dialogue because I was like, oh, you don't want this gang coming after you, do you? And the person's like, oh, not really. Here's your money. Please, like, leave me the fuck alone. So I've been able to, like, skip combat and stuff. But that's very, like, it's happened maybe, like, three times. Or or I've been able to, like, make shit cheaper. Or I've been able to get more money out of other people being able to use that. But it hasn't happened in, like, story-related stuff. That's fair. <laughs> uh, let's which, I, which, which I don't expect it to. I mean, it's cool that it, that's even an option. And it's like, hey, man, I know how much that's, that's worth. And the one thing I will say that, that I like about this that more RPGs should do is when you enter dialogue, and there's a dialogue option that you don't have enough points to pick, you can enter your pause menu in dialogue and put points towards stuff, which I love. Give me more RPGs that let me do that so I'm not locked out of stuff. Because that's a great option. There's like, oh, I need one more point to unlock this di- uh, this this dialogue option, and I have a saved point. You could go into your menu, uh, un- unlock that point, and the dialogue option is instantly ready to pick. More RPGs need to do this. Give you the freedom to open your menu even in like di- dialogue choices. And I feel like it's dumb that most haven't done this. I yeah. would do I would do something similar and. Um in deus ex where i would always keep like a spare point or two uh just unspent in case i ran into a scenario where oh you need the uh long jump or you need the ability to hack like this level of security so i just kind of kept that as an insurance policy and i think extending that to uh dialogue options could be really useful for people who are trying to like um min max that thing i guess well, it's also that, but it's also just being able to open it in those di- just dialogue options, which you would not, you would like, you would be surprised how many games don't let you do that. Just, yeah. Just, just the fact that they thought about being able to do that, because I, I have, I think I have like twenty hoarded fucking upgrade points, not like level up points, but like upgrade points, because I'm just like, oh shit, what am I gonna need this? But it's like- just being able to open it while you're in a option is super helpful. I think, I think on I'm one hand. Do that. I think on one hand, it's a bit game breaking, but in the sense that, you know, players are just going to reload their save and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just fucking add that functionality in. And, you know, skipping that dumb step helps more than people think it does. It helps the gameplay going. So it's not like you have to keep reloading your shit. You you just be like, oh, I need one more point of hacking to discuss what this object does. Boop. Clicks it. Done. (laughs) I, I I don't know. I just I it, it was actually one of my favorite like systems that they had implemented in this game so far, and it's such a little dumb thing, but it makes it so much easier. So let's see. We're coming up on about two hours here. Does uh are there any more specific topics or categories you might have missed that anyone else wants to go on? I don't think we really talked about the driving. Oh yeah, we 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 totally didn't. Um, also, the for, fact that no one cares about getting rear-ended in this game—it's <laughs> for me. It's third person is always optimal for driving in games because you can actually see your environment. You can drive efficiently. Mm-hmm. First person driving is always clunky as hell, but the Something driving so does. Yeah, the 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 driving in third person does not feel good to me whatsoever. It feels like you're driving on ice. And in that regard, at least in first person, it feels um, not not diegetic, but like when you, the car is swerving, you can see that swerve firsthand. It, it feels better versus third person where your car just doesn't control the way you want it to. I feel like motorcycles drive better than actual cars do, but that's just me. Yeah. I don't trust myself on a motorcycle. I've played too much GTA first person where you crash into something, you go flying. I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> But like uh, uh, Cyberpunk does something that I don't really understand why some open world games do that is this the cars or whatever that you get in the beginning are not only 
bad in the sense that they are not really that fast or whatever, but they drive awfully, but it, en it ends up giving the player a really bad experience at the start of the game. Like, mm -hmm. oh, does, do the other ones actually drive decently? Yeah. Oh, wow. I well, didn't yeah, know that's that. Why, that's why the cars are so expensive because they're good. <laughs> Well, that, that's why I didn't spend any money on cars. I'm like, why am I going to spend all this, all these oh, resources really? on something that doesn't control well? Yeah, yeah I have not better, bought yeah. any cars. I've not bought any cars. I've just been, again, I've been using Jackie's motorcycle. <laughs> I didn't get Jackie's motorcycle. Did you it's do the quest? Is there a quest. specific side quest you have so, to uh, Yes. Mm. Where did you send his body? I sent it to uh, his mama. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Then you need to do oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Uh, I'd say it's okay to talk about this quest because yeah. it's early on. Yeah. Um, I didn't send it anywhere. I left it in the car because I thought I was going to be coming back to it. <laughs> I then I sent it to his mom. Good, because that's what I did too. You get a quest called I forget. It's been a bit, but um, you should check um, you should check um. Uh, you should call his mom and then you can do a funeral. And yeah, I did not call his mom. <laughs> you should call his mom. Yeah, call, call Jackie's mom. Damn it. <laughs> there you get his um, bike. The, the really cool thing about the bike, too, is if you're the nomad path, there was an option to let Jackie know that his like muffler is broken. And if and when you get his bike, he has actually fixed it and it drives faster. Oh, wow. But that's only if you do the uh, nomad path. Which again, little shit that I love deeply. Because <laughs> it's something tiny. And then when you when you get his bike, V actually says, oh, hey, it looks like he fixed this. And when you drive the bike, it drives uh, faster. Okay. So, cool. But shit. to be clear, though, uh, even if the driving, the handling of the cars get better, the more it progresses the game, the I still feel the drive itself is doesn't really feel good. Like most of the time I was okay. close to a fast travel point. I would always use fast travel because anything bigger than 1.2 kilometers of distance was torture to drive to. Unless I had a motorcycle. Motorcycles handles way better than a cars. See, I just constantly drive because that's how you get the side side quest and gigs and stuff. So I, I just build, I, I've driven everywhere. <laughs> I think to build off that, it seems like you guys didn't have the same thing as me, where the streets for me are pretty damn empty. So driving, like even the handling, isn't really much of an issue if there's nothing else on the road. Yeah. Um. Was was there plenty of cars for you guys? Or no. yes. Oh yeah. Not for me. <laughs> for me, yeah. I would say there were some cars, but not much pedestrians, I think. Oh, for me, there's a shit ton of people. I can't tell you how many people I've, I've accidentally fucking break. <laughs> in front of my bike, because I fly off a cliff, and I'm like, oh, no, I thought I tackle someone. And the cops are like, wee, 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 woo. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's, oh, my God, it's terrible, the amount of people walking around in my fucking game. I don't get why you guys haven't seen anybody. All of my streets are packed. <laughs> I don't know why. Give me your guys' game. Make it easier to fucking drive places without I running into people. <laughs> I, I would share footage of uh of my streets, but uh, the game will let me. Crashes my software. Even uh, sh uh sh shadow play. I have not tried shadow play. I'll have to well, try. There you it. go. Well, there you go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Uh, let, let's see. Are there any uh, other topics or whatnot that we missed out on that anyone feels no. passionately about? I, I, I got to go through most of my rant. Yeah, I mean, other other than the fact that I'm legitimately having fun, and I feel like we should also let it be known that if you're legitimately having fun with us, don't feel bad about having fun. I oh, mean, yeah. feel bad knowing that the company shit, but like, don't feel bad knowing that you're legitimately having a fun time. Because I'm I think glad. it's not being said enough. Because I have a couple friends who are like who are lo lo loving it as much as I am, and it's like don't feel bad about having fun. Again, I hate I love things everybody else hates. So like, don't feel bad about like having a legitimate fun time. Well, just to build off that, it's um so the previous coverage that we had done for this on uh, 
game session and then my articles, whatever, it's very important to criticize everything else that's going on with CDPR, everything that's going on with this game. Um, the, the entire PR, PR nightmare that's going on with the refunds, that's going on with the crunch, that's going on with the transphobia, everything on that needs to be discussed and it has been discussed on the on the show mm-hmm. previously. But um, I think every piece of art does deserve its own due uh, criticism for what it is as a piece of art. And like any piece of art, it deserves criticism of every single variety. And I'm glad we were able to uh, talk about the game on a game basis af- after we had gone through the other stuff. And I'm but very think- happy that I had um, everyone that I had on the show previously, which um, last week it was uh, Matt Stormageddon that was on to help us discuss that. And I'm very grateful for everyone that's here today. Thank- that's Sarah, Mesa, and Dio. Very happy to have Dio here today. Dio is always I'm welcome. Happy to be like, here. Too. Like our art, ev- everybody's going to have different opinions on art. <laughs> Like it's the same as music, same as m- movies with the whole Wonder Wonder Woman thing going on on Twitter right now, which I think is fucking stupid. No one's gonna like. Not everyone's gonna like something, but some people are gonna like something. It's it's just whatever. Basically, if you like this, but you can still criticize it, don't feel bad. Like what you want to like, damn it. Don't let the internet fucking tell you what not to like. <laughs> the, the you heard it first here, folks. The internet's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> The internet's stupid. Just like, like what you want to like, like. I I don't I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Let's see if everyone wants to give. Uh, I guess maybe their final thoughts on the game. If you had to like summarize it overall, uh, Mesa. If you want to take the magic conch, do do you want the magic conch sound? <laughs> I'm sure. All right. Who did it last time? Was was that Matt or? I think it was Matt who did it last time. What, what's the sound? Like that? Oh, no. The, the, the answer is no. Let me think. Um, hmm. I'm trying to, trying to elaborate beyond broken promises, but um, um, I think Cyberpunk... Did you crash, Mesa? Maybe have you, maybe, have you become maybe that's cyberpunk. My maybe that's my <laughs> criticism. Yep. I gotta gotta send more information from the PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, just I like it's it's a, it's a game. It is a that's, game that's mired in everything that's happened about it and to it. Well, <laughs> it it. it it can't transcend any. It can't transcend anything. You know. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of stuck being a video game. Right. Uh, yeah. What What are your overall thoughts? If you had to summarize, like honestly, I feel like Cyberpunk is a game that is fundamentally broken. And no amount of patches besides a full relaunch or like a, a year or a, or a year and a half of new development will really change much of the game. Like it has a bunch of seasons that don't really talk to each other that well. Uh, the, the, the gameplay isn't really that satisfying for the genre. And the only at least for me, the only really good thing is the story, but even then, that would be better on a, on a TV show, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, Sarah? Uh, I just feel weird saying that I'm one of the only people who's enjoying it for what it is. Um, it obviously has some issues, but from what I was looking forward to, this is everything that I've wanted in it so far. And I'm really enjoying my time. And I, it's like, it's, it's the first open world game that I've played since I honestly think Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which is such a long time, where I have just legitimately wanted to do honest to God everything. <laughs> it's a crime that Syndicate had uh, the brother as a playable character. I like Jacob, and I get the whole Ubisoft thing, but I loved him as a character. I loved him and Evie a lot. 
so you leave my boy alone. Jacob can exist, just I don't want to play as him. <laughs> I mean, I get that, but that's an argument that we could have somewhere else because I legit thought it was really cool having a playbook because he was the more fighting character and Evie was the more stealthy one. But that's not why we're here. I, I'm going to change the stream title right now. <laughs> right in the last couple minutes. <laughs> um, shit, I guess I'll give my thoughts. Um, I think it's basically what I said at the top. This is uh, by far the most mediocre title I've played in an extremely long time, especially when you contrast it against the, uh, the hype and marketing that was behind it. And even if we had put it on our 2020 game of the year uh, contenders, it, it would have not have even been remote to being on my list whatsoever. Same. Mm -hmm. I Same. mean, it was, I, I actually had it as an honorable mention on mine. It, but you know. I just didn't put it anything number wise because I hadn't beaten it. Mm -hmm. yet. Much like Fallout 76 before it, it's just fun to talk about. <laughs> for for the record, I don't think Cyberpunk is necessarily a bad game. I it's it's just so middle of the road. Yeah. But I think that's going to go ahead and do it. Uh Dia, where can everybody find you? Uh if you're interested in on my shit posts and bad opinions, you can find me on the Twitter right below at DUMF. Not motherfucker. <laughs> 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 and if you're interested, you can join us on our on our Discord at the official SDGC podcast. But yeah, that's it. All right, awesome. I have I I loved having you here. I'm glad you have reached out to uh, come on, and you're always more than welcome in the future. Thank you. Love it being here. All right, so I think that's going to go ahead and do it. Um, just a repeat of the top. You can go and find us on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, where you can find all of our content. There's a link tree down below. You can find all of our stuff down there. Um, thank you guys for watching or listening. Or no, that those are the only two: watching or listening. <laughs> mm. yeah, we have <laughs> tasting yet. Lick, lick your dual sense because we tell you to. <laughs> yeah, lick lick the dual sense. It has that hamburger button now. It might taste it's like a one. lot safer than licking a switch cartridge, which I still can't believe was a thing about a year ago. Mesa, do you think the French fry button tastes different than the menu button on the on the dual sense? Well, it depends on what type of fries it is, because like you know, <laughs> is it sweet potato fries or just regular potato oh, fries? I'm not bad. Sweet potato fries it's are better fries. than regular potatoes. I disagree. Well, it, it, you're I allowed to have bad that. opinions. Oh, 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 sure, Mr. Cold Fry Lover. All right, whatever. Cold <laughs> fries are a delicacy. <laughs> that's just cool. Dude. How do you do that? With ketchup. Ooh, that's how I do it. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Yeah.